On May 28, 2009, a trailer for a game called Mega Man 2.5D was released. Mega Man 2.5D remixes the classic Mega Man 2 with a pseudo three-dimensional interface, but still using three-dimensional sprites. This causes a lot of nostalgia in a bunch of classic gamers out there, so I decided to do my part. I ported my Nintendo Wii controller to my computer so that I could play Mega Man 2 from my computer. Okay, so here we are open on this script. This is using GloveHi. It's a programmable input emulator. Now, from what I know, this can be used for a whole lot more than just um, a Wiimote controller, so you'll have to try it out for yourself. By the way, for any programs that I mentioned throughout this video or any other videos, link in the sidebar. So here we have open, it's just a simple NES script. I didn't write it, it came with it, but it's really easy. It turns off the LEDs and it defines the controls, which by the way you'll have to define in your emulator, but it's really easy. So just for this purpose I'm actually going to turn on the LEDs. Um, I'm actually going to stop it and then turn on the LEDs so that I can show you. The number the first LED right now is on. So this is my little notification that the script is running. And so I just happen to have Mega Man 2 open up in another window. And so I'm going to let this fire up. It's going to be a little bit laggy because I have a whole bunch of um, recording applications open. And so there we go. A is the start button. Um, 1 and 2 are B and A. Minus is select and then the arrow keys are, well, the arrow keys. And I also have a little cheat back here. The B button is for uh, Turbo B, or Turbo A, I can't remember which button it is, but Turbo Fire. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here just to show you how it works. This is all using a remote controller. So yeah, it is a little bit laggy, but now that I got my little cheat right here. And it works. It works. It'll work for any NES game. And, well, I just use it for Mega Man 2. And you can also define this so that it works with any SNES game. It's really just, it just, this program Love Pie, which I might actually write a tutorial for later. Um, all it does is ports this to arrow er, keys on your keyboard. And so this is my little contribution for the release of the trailer for Mega Man 2.5D, just to take the gamers back a little.